Hi everyone, Ta here. Over the holidays, I received a bunch of deliveries piled up that have yet to open, so I thought it'd be fun to do a random unboxing video with you guys today. Now mind you, there is a mix of stuff that I either purchased myself or that were sent to me by brands to check out. Anyways, let's not waste any more time and let's get straight to unboxing to see what kind of goodies we got here. Let's go. Let's slowly put some of these boxes down to clear the table up. Let's start with this big boy here. Okay, so I seriously need to order a dedicated knife because this is not working out. Box this guy right here. Ooh, I know exactly what this is. Okay, this is something I ordered myself. This is the Water Flosser by Waterpick. Now, I don't know how I came across this, but when I saw it, I had to order it right away. And mind you, I take pretty good care of my teeth, but the only thing that I don't like to do, and I'm gonna be real with you guys here, I don't like to floss. <laughs> don't judge me, but yes, I hate to floss. So when I saw this, I'm like, okay, this is, this could be very useful. This water flosser is apparently accepted by the American Dental Association, and they had this really cool video up where they're using the flosser against a cob of corn, and I don't know for whatever reason, I was wowed by it, so I ordered it, and here it is. From my understanding, it uses water jet pressure with pulsations to clean between the teeth and below the gum line. So basically, you're using water to floss your teeth as the name of the product implies. And I think this is, yeah, this is the Aquarius professional version. So you do get extra tips and accessories included in the box. The water pick flosser had like a four and a half star rating. I think like 12,000 people reviewed it. So. It's a highly priced product um, and it made pulling the trigger a lot easier for me to do. So I'm really excited to test this guy out. Let's cut this open. Let's see what we've got here. Ooh. All right, it looks like we got a couple of cases from a company called Bento Bin. Let's start off with this one. I think this is one, yeah, this is for the Galaxy S9. So that was really nice of them to send me these. Thank you so much, Bento Bin. Let me go ahead and grab my S9 really quick. So let's slap this phone in and see what it looks like. Oh, I like it. It's really nice. You also get a bunch of car slots and a sleeve in the back where you can store cash in. I like that it's not bulky, it's very slender actually and it has a very very smooth feel to it. You got a little bit of branding on the bottom right corner. Next case we got here, this one was definitely not designed for the guys but I'm sure a lot of you ladies will appreciate it. I'm not gonna lie, when I first took a look at this case, it is a bit flashy but I can see myself taking this out for maybe like a girl's night out. Well, you also get extra card slots in here, which is extremely helpful for me because I have a lot of cards and two sleeves to store it cash in. It's a little bit bulky. I would have preferred it if it was a little bit slender, but because of the extra flap, I understand why. And look, it has a lanyard strap too. Moving on to the next package. All right, so this is another item that I ordered for myself. I'm a huge Nintendo Switch fan, and whenever I travel, I would just typically toss it into my purse or carry-on. So I thought it was probably time to take better care of this thing, so I went with this case from uh, a company called Orsley? Orsley? <laughs> Anyways, so let's unzip this case up and see what it looks like. Okay, cool. So right away, I noticed that the inside is lined with a very soft material. And I like that they have these two straps to place your Nintendo Switch in so that when you open it, you won't ever have to worry about it slipping out. Very helpful, especially for me because I'm a huge, huge klutz. There's also a middle flap here that allows you to store up to eight games. I like that. There's a sleeve in the back where you can store extra cables and accessories. So I like that. So you just zip up the entire thing and you have a little handle where you can just carry your case like this. And you're good to go. Let's see what's in this box. We got some more phone loops by a company called Phone Loops. I've used the phone loops before and it looks like they sent me a bunch more in a variety of colors. Okay, so there's multiple ways to attach the phone loops, but I personally like to thread it into the camera cuddle and the charging cuddle. And the only problem that I have with this, especially because I like to rock clear cases, is that you can kind of see the lining right through the case. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but it's kind, it's kind of noticeable if you don't have your hands through the phone loops. 
Initially, I thought the full noose was made out of an elastic material, but it's not. So when you install it, just make sure you leave enough spacing to fit your hands in. This is probably how I would use the full noose with just a few fingers in it. It feels comfortable and I still have access to the fingerprint sensor. As well, it makes me feel a little more confident knowing that my phone won't go flying in case someone was to like accidentally bump into me. If you've used phone rings or pop sockets, you know that wireless charging doesn't work. So a benefit to using the phone loops is that wireless charging does work. Moving on, Ooh, looks like we got some more cases, but instead this is for the Note 9. All right, so where's my Note 9? Let's try these on. These are the two cases that Phi, I think it's pronounced Phi, <laughs> sent out to me. These both are for the Note 9. This is what the Note 9 looks like in one of the Phi cases. I like that there's some card slots here on the side where you can store your cards in. And I think a sleeve in the middle where you can place cash. That's really helpful. And you got a magnetic close at the top. Has a really nice feel to the case. Yeah, it's pretty. Next one. So you got a lanyard strap to attach to the case. So let's slap the Galaxy Note 9 in and see what it looks like. This is what the Galaxy Note 9 looks like in this case. You also get card slots a mirror and a sleeve in the middle again to place cash in also got a magnetic flap to close the case very nice clean simple if you like purple then you love this the final package all right so it's kind of a dead giveaway because i already know who this is from there's a mophie sticker <laughs> oh Ooh, nice presentation mophie so they sent me their new power bank. It's called the Mofi Power Station PDXL. As well, oh, looks like they were kind enough to throw in a USB-C to lightning cable. I guess this is for the iPhone users. This is Mofi's new power bank with power delivery technology. The power bank has a 10,050 milliamp hour battery capacity. There's an LED power indicator on the side which tells you how much juice is left. According to the website, 10 minutes can get you 20% battery life and 30 minutes of charging can get you up to 50%. It also has priority charging, which means if you plug the power bank into an outlet when also connected to your phone, it will charge the phone first before charging the battery pack. I love the size and the material used. The weight uh, is comfortable. There is some heft to it, but I can totally see myself just throwing this into my purse for the days when I need extra battery. Thank you, Mofi, so much. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this random unboxing video. I do plan on doing this monthly, so if you guys have any feedback, do send them my way. As always, thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, peace. Bye!